Hi, I'm Em from 21 Readers. This video is my spring break reading vlog. More specifically, it's me starting my neck galley journey. In this video, I'll be reading Small Town Pride by Phil Stamper and Lurk and Cosm Start a Revolution by Kaysen Callender. Both are LGBT books. One is middle grade and one is young adult. As a quick backstory, I have read from both of these authors before. Case and Calendar, I've read Felix Ever After and enjoyed. Phil Stamper, I've read The Gravity of Us, which I enjoyed, and As Far As You'll Take Me, which was fine. I was excited to document my first experience on NetGalley. I had off of work this week for spring break, and despite getting approved for these arcs a few weeks ago, I decided to just wait till I had off of work to just dive into NetGalley. I also went on a trip for spring break to New York and saw my first two Broadway shows since the shutdown. The shows I saw on this trip are The Music Man with Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster and Six. So that will be footage in the middle of the vlog. So here we go, starting my NetGalley journey. Enjoy the vlog. I finished Small Town Pride, my first neck galley arc, and I'm giving it five stars. What a great way to start my neck galley journey. This book explores themes of LGBT acceptance and allyship. It's through the lens of a middle grade book. However, I think adult audiences and young adult audiences would enjoy this as well. We're following Jake, who's a middle schooler who comes out to his parents as gay in the beginning of the book. And then he spends the rest of the book embarking on this journey of trying to get his small town to have their first pride festival. The thing I'm gonna remember the most about this book is how the author was able to include so many elements of things that queer people experience into this small town. So for example, he talks about queer youth leaving town right after they graduate high school to go to a more accepting bigger city. He talks about queer people having a safe space on the internet when they feel like they can't have a safe space in their real life. There's also discussion here through a character of somebody who says they're an ally, but then when it comes time to take action and show support for the LGBT community, they look the other way. We also have instances in this book of political figures using manipulative tactics to negatively impact the LGBT community in this town. And we also have characters navigating how to act with a parent or a family member who's not accepting of LGBT individuals and how you would go about confronting them, educating them, criticizing them, cutting them off, things like that. I feel like despite this being a short middle grade read and for middle school audiences, they were able to discuss relevant queer topics through the lens of a middle schooler who is going through this experience of coming out as LGBT and wanting to be accepted by their community. So not only was this a hopeful story, but it was also an insightful story in terms of a lot was included of LGBT youth experiences. And once I finished it, I got to write my first neck alley review. This is my first ebook I've ever read on my phone. I found ebooks to be so fun because it's like you're scrolling on Twitter or TikTok, but instead you're reading and being productive. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be on like an ebook kick for a bit, whether that's on neck alley or Libby. So I'm glad that this was able to give me my ebook experience too. All right, now I'm going to jump into Lurk and Cosm Start a Revolution. Update time. I've finished Lurk and Cosm Start a Revolution by Case and Calendar, and I'm going to be giving it four stars. This story follows Lurk. Lurk identifies as non binary, queer, and neurodivergent. They're a 17 year old taking writing classes and they're trying to write their own published story. And they also have a big Twitter following. A Twitter thread gets posted to Lurk's account that they did not write and it accidentally goes viral. Lurk begins receiving backlash from the Twitter thread, so the story takes off from there. Calendar does it again, just like they did in Felix Ever After, their character work is unmatched. All of the characters in this book have their own individual way of thinking, speaking, belief system, vulnerabilities. I felt so immersed and felt like each of the characters, whether they were a main character or a side character, they were completely developed. That was the main thing I'm going to remember the most about this book is the characterization and especially our main character Lark being inside their head.
Some things that stood out about the book, all of the characters in this book are black and queer and many of them are non-binary or trans and there is quite a bit of neurodivergent rep in this as well. And Calendar allows the characters to be messy and flawed and vulnerable and the book itself is acting as a safe space for these teenagers to make mistakes and learn from them and learn from each other. My favorite scenes in particular are when the teenagers are in their writing course that they're taking and the professor or instructor poses a question to them and the characters just spend a whole scene going back and forth on the discussion topic. Another thing that stood out to me about this book is that Lurk is mentioning overtly that they are not a likable character and that they are not easy to root for and I was thinking about how I was still very invested in Lurk's journey of self-improvement and in taking accountability despite them not being a character that was easy to root for. I would recommend this book for the representation of black, queer, non-binary, and trans characters. I would also recommend it for the productive conversations had about taking accountability for one's actions, discussions about communicating different feelings, and navigating complicated friendships and relationships. I felt challenged by the main character and I also feel like I learned a lot from them. So despite the main character not being the easiest one to root for. I still learned from them and was challenged by them so that made it a unique reading experience in and of itself. This book releases on September 27th 2022 and it was my second NetGalley arc. So there we have it. I read and reviewed my first two NetGalley arcs, Small Town Pride and Lurk and Cosm Start a Revolution, and then I had my feedback ratio at 100%. I'm telling myself I'm gonna have self-control and willpower and only request two arcs at a time. I'm wearing my six merch and I want to quickly mention that I also had a great time on my Broadway New York trip. I saw The Music Man with Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster and I saw Six. Both shows will be in contention for Tony Awards this year. I had fun documenting my journey starting NetGalley and this experience reading and reviewing my first two arcs. Tell me in the comments anything you want to share about your NetGalley experience. And for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next one.